to migrate data into an RDS database using Flyway. Another thing we must do is add our SQL script to the SQL directory within the Flyway folder. The SQL script for the data we will migrate into the RDS database can be downloaded from the link provided in this video's description. To start, the first thing I want you to do is download the script. Once you have downloaded the script, go into the directory you downloaded the script to. On my computer, I downloaded the script in my downloads directory. So I'm going to open my file explorer and I'm going to select my downloads directory. In my downloads directory, this is the script. So the next thing I want you to do is right click on the script. You can either copy it or cut it. I like to cut the script so I can paste it in the proper directory. So here I've clicked cut. Once you cut the script, let's go into our flyway directory and paste the script in the SQL folder. So to paste this script in the SQL directory in my flyway folder, remember I moved my flyway folder to the C drive. So I'm going to select the C drive. I'm going to select users. And I'm going to select admin. In the admin folder, I'm going to scroll down here. This is my flyway folder. Select the folder. And in the flyway directory, select the SQL folder. And in this folder, paste the script there. And this is all you need to do. The SQL script you downloaded from this video's description, I want you to paste it in the SQL folder in your Flyway folder. Once you've pasted the script in here, you can delete this text file because we don't need it. Then you can close your file explorer. The last thing I want you to do in this lecture is go back to Visual Studio Code, where we previously opened the Flyway folder. Once you have opened the Flyway folder in Visual Studio Code again, there is something important we must do here. So I want you to select the drop down under the SQL folder. Select the drop down. This is the script for our application that we will migrate into the RDS database. In order for Flyway to migrate your script into the RDS database, you must name your script like this. So we are going to right click on this script and click rename. Then put your cursor at the beginning. Make sure your cursor is before the R and type capital V one and underscore. When you type underscore here, make sure you type two underscore. So I'm going to backspace again so you can see it. I'm going to type underscore once and I'm going to type underscore again. You must type two underscore there. I will leave an example of this name in this video's description. This is the naming format that Flyway expects. So here we have version one, two underscore, and the name of our script. Once you enter it, press enter. This is all we need to do in this lecture. And the takeaway for this lecture is, we add our SQL script into the SQL directory, and we rename the script to the format Flyway expect. If you have any questions on this lecture or there's any part you don't understand, please leave your comments below. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next lecture. Bye.